These masterpieces of European sculpture are by two of the greatest sculptors ever to have lived, Giambologna and Canova. The first, Giambologna's Mars, represents the god of war. The second is a marble bust of peace, the exact opposite of war. Giambologna was the greatest sculptor in Europe after Michelangelo's death. Mars is an exceptional Renaissance bronze. It was a personal gift from Giambologna to Christian I, Elector of Saxony, one of the highest ranking military officials in the Holy Roman Empire. What is so special about Mars is the fact that Giambologna's managed to evoke the god of war purely through the musculature, through the pose, through the sense that the figure commands the space. The Mars holds out his left hand as if directing, like a military commander or general. His legs are apart, which represents dominance. He manages to create the sense that a small figure is living and breathing in our space. Canova was responsible for pristine classical sculptures. They very much would have stunned contemporary audiences. The bust of pieces of seminal importance within Canova's oeuvre. It is one of the first of his celebrated ideal heads, Canova's conception of, of human beauty. It represents the end of the Napoleonic Wars and the hope for a new future of European politics. Canova presented the bust of peace to his friend and earliest British patron, Lord Corder, not just for his loyalty as a patron, but in gratitude to Britain for their role alongside Russia and Prussia in defeating Napoleon. Her calm expression reflects the prosperity and the calmness that comes about through peace. What I found astonishing about it was how it changes as you move around it. The bust is wholly harmonious. It works from every angle. Canova was able to create the most brilliant marbles of any sculptor. He manages to imbue them with a sense of life, and I think that is his unique genius. The bust of peace is serene. She represents a different character to the Mars, and yet what unites these two remarkable works is the fact that they were made by sculptors when they were at the top of their game. They are the epitome of technical brilliance, but they also represent originality and genius.